Hello my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. This is your one and only Okute Daily Talk from my own corner, bringing to you this Tuesday broadcast of early morning being the 13th day of uh, December in the year 2022. Without not taking much of your time, I want to use this medium or this opportunity to thank all my fans, my viewers and subscribers all over the world, wherever you are at the very moment. And I want to thank you immensely from the depth of my heart for what you have been doing to make sure that uh, this ministry is moving to the permanent site. If you have not subscribed to my channel or this is your first time of hearing my voice or listening to this uh, or any content from Okute Daily Talk, please endeavor to do that as soon as possible. This is where we speak to you the undiluted truth about the things of life, about what is happening in Nigeria, about uh, our so-called politicians or never do well as psychopaths in, in, in every government house in our country. Those ones who have vowed that this country must surely sink, the country will not sink, rather they will be the one to sink. For they have been trying in one way or the other to make sure that they subdue the poor and make sure that the poor have no say in the country of their own. To the extent of uh, sending hoodlums, uh, kidnappers, um, doing all manner of things to make sure that they subdue the poor, even withholding the PMS that is so common that they are not even giving free to the, to, the, to the general public rather than they use their money to buy it. Out of their wickedness of heart, they, they decide to hold it in every Xmas uh, celebration. But whatever way they are doing it, the almighty Tukoki Abiyama is always there to protect his his own people so please tighten your seat belts and listen to me and give me your listening ear and listen attentively in any way you might choose to understand the english please do not mind my language because i'm overwhelmed because of what i'm seeing on the internet today there's a good news coming our way we be our friends please be at our last because good things is on the way 2023 coming is our own year so believe it or not we are going home coming 2023 so let's take the headlines from there, we don't proceed to other news of the day. Please listen attentively as we proceed. 2023, Labour Party and the PTOB revealed politicians behind purchase of PVCs from voters. How Nigerian soldiers kill children fathered by Boko Haram terrorists reports have emerged. You are responsible for attack on Imo INEC headquarters. PDP fires Uzodimma. Purchase of PVCs, INEC responsible for the manipulations from politicians, Ohanez Ndibo is the one saying this. So we don't have to waste much time. Let's go straight into the business of this day. The Labour Party has revealed the politicians responsible for buying permanent voters' card PVCs from voters to harvest their voter identification number. Okute News earlier report reported that uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had uh, alleged that some politicians are purchasing PVCs from voters in an attempt to read the 2023 general elections. Reacting to the uh, allegation, Labour Party stated that politicians and uh, political parties who have over the years weaponized poverty are behind the electoral offenses. In an interview with Vanguard on Monday, the chief spokesperson of the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, Yanusa Tanku, asked INEC and security agencies to arrest the said politicians. Who say? Who is going to arrest who? Who is going to arrest who? That is the question here. Tanku said the party was not involved in the alleged process of PVC from voters, saying that the party has been taking its plea for votes directly to Nigerians. He added that the Labour Party flag bearer, Peter Ubi, has been campaigning and appearing in debates and town hall meetings because he knows the power to make the next president is in the hands of the people. He said, we in the Labour Party condemn electoral crime in all its ramifications. I am certain the politicians being described by INEC are not within our rank or file. That is why we have been taking our plea for votes directly from Nigerians. Our candidates have been campaigning and appearing in debates and town hall meetings because he knows the power to put him and his running mate, and of course, our party in office is in the hands of the people, not in the hands of buying 
TVCs or buying votes. We enjoy Nigerians to be well of politicians who stole from our common uh, patrimony while in office at one time or the other. These are the same people who have come to use these same stolen funds to try to buy their PVCs and their votes. Nigerian vo voters should also be aware that Section 124 of the Electoral Act of 2010 as amended makes, makes it a criminal offense for anyone to buy or sell votes. Both offenses carry the punishment of 12 months in jail or a fine of 500,000 naira or both on conviction. That is all we need to know about this vote buying. These people have devised a means of uh, impoverishing the, 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 the poor masses, of making them to be even begging for what belongs to them. The money they are using to buy votes from you is your own money. I wonder why some people will not use their number six. Every year, every four, four years, you keep collecting 5,000 naira, uh, one cup of gare, one tin of tomato. And sometimes they will give uh, two families one onions to, to, to share. They will use knife to cut it into two. You take half, I take half. That is what you people will use to sell your destiny and the destiny of your unborn generations. And these people you are voting for, these people you are dying for, these people that, that, that you keep campaigning for, yeah, their children are in the best universities in the whole world. I mean, when I mean the best universities, they're not even in Nigeria, but outside the country. And you keep on selling the future of your own children. Yeah, you will suffer to go to market and make money to send your kids to school. When they graduate finish, all these so-called people will see never give them job. They prefer to keep that position for their never-do-well kids who are studying abroad, not even studying abroad, but they are just out there in a, a, in a university in abroad, dancing our one terror, because their account is always filled with dollars, millions of dollars, not even a thousand, millions of dollars. So what are they going there to study? For them, they, they, they know that their future is already settled because their father is among the corrupt leaders that is leading the country or the decision makers in the country. So tell me, how are you still going to be using the little one you have, which is your PVC, to enrich them? Why you still remain poor? And that is why Nigeria can never grow. That is why the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer. Because the rich will always find a way or the other to squeeze the little that the poor, the poor have, which is their right, the PVCs. By offering them peanuts that, is, that cannot even lead them for up to a year, a year, whereby they will do first time and do second time. Then the remaining of the, 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 the funds that are supposed to come to you, or the, 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 they're supposed to use in development, in infrastructure, in giving you electricity, and other social amenities that make life easier for you. They will not give it to you because you have already sold your vote to them. So why are you going to question them why they are not performing, performing well in the office? So come in 2023, wherever you are, a male or female, boy or girl, whether old or young, as long as you have your PVCs, vote wisely and do not sell your conscience for being out. You, are, you, you want more than 5,000 Naira that they are giving you for your PVC. You want more than 10,000 Naira that they are giving you for, 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 for you to vote for them. Because all these people know the truth. Know that if, you, if they now come to buy your vote, you will vote rightly. But they will come and they offer you a peanut which cannot even uh, uh, prepare a better uh, pot of soup for the family. And you accept and vote for them. Tomorrow you will come out and begin to protest that they are not doing anything. If I see you sell vote and you complain tomorrow, I will be among these people that will castigate you and crucify you. Believe it or leave it. So please, let's proceed. How Nigerian soldiers kill children, fathered by Boko Haram terrorists, reports have emerged. They keep doing things that even when I hear, hear it, the air will tremble. That is your country, Nigeria. An international news agency, Reuters, has accused the Nigerian army of killing children, fathered by Boko Haram, terror, uh, Boko Haram terrorists. Okute News report that in an investigation published on Monday, Reuters claim that top army commanders allegedly order soldiers to kill children born to insurgents. According to the report, the directive was issued because the children were assumed to be collaborating with militants in Boko Haram or East Islamic State offshore, or to have inherited the, the tinted blood of insurgent fathers. 
Raoka said more than 40 soldiers and civilians interviewed for the investigation said the witness officers of the Nigerian military killed children or saw children corps after a military operation. It was uh, intentional killings of children. It said intentional killings of children have occurred with a bullying frequency across the region during the war according to witnesses interviewed by rioters. More than 40 souls said they saw the Nigerian military target and kill children or saw the dead bodies of children after a military operation. These souls included both parents and other civilian witnesses as well as soldiers who said they participated in dozens of military operations in which children were slaughtered. Together, their estimates added up to thousands of children killed. Rauta said it could not independently verify the estimate that thousands of children were killed during military operations against insurgency. But the news agency said six specific incidents investigated by reporters indicated that at least 60 children were killed in those incidents. In the investigation, Yagana Buka, a mother of twins, narrated how soldiers smothered her her four months old uh, twin boys after she and a group of other women and children escaped from Boko Haram fighters. This is horrible and it's an abomination to the land. She said, the soldiers said they killed those children because they are children of Boko Haram, they are not human beings. They threatened me that if I wasn't careful and didn't keep quiet, they would kill me as well. In another witness testimony, a soldier reportedly said, he enjoyed killing children who were subject, subjected to be fathered by insurgents due to the belief that they may grow up to become insurgents tomorrow. The reports said soldiers often cited as a reason for killing children the belief that if their fathers were insurgents then they would grow up to become the same. The killing was also a way for some officers to avenge heavy losses in fighting with Islamist insurgents, or for soldiers to vent their anger over the deaths of their comrades. Other soldiers said they had adopted a kill or be killed attitude toward children because insurgents used them as fighters, informants, and suicide bombers. Ukute News had earlier reported that rioters has uh, accused the Nigerian army of carrying out illegal abortions on victims of insurgents in the Northeast. However, the defense headquarters has said the Nigerian army has never forced rescued women and girls to abort pregnancies, according to them. Also, the federal government asked the news agency to provide evidence that the Nigerian army forced rescued women and girls to abort pregnancies. But that is a simple truth. This is not the first time I'm hearing about this news. It has been up and up and up and up again. I know that uh, this news, uh, 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 just as, uh, as the adage always says, that in every, uh, in every rumor, there's an atom of truth in it. So this rumor has been on the air from Guardian newspaper, from Daily Trust, from NigerNews.com, uh, Niger and many more newspapers have carried this news. That means there's a single truth or atom of truth in it. So let us proceed with other news we have in hand. You are responsible for attack on Imo INEC headquarters, PDP fires with Odima. We know he can do it because he don't want the election to be carried out in the Imo state. The People's Democratic Party PDP in Imo state has accused Governor Hope Uzo Dimma of being responsible for the attack on the headquarters of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC in Owere. Ukute News report that the governor had claimed that the attack on Imo on INEC headquarters and the killings in the state were politically motivated. Who are the politi who are the polit who are the politics or who are the politicians that is motivated? Who? Who motivated who? Uh, I hope so danger. We are asking you, who motivated who? You are the one that motivated them to be destroying the INEC offices because you know if election is been uh, uh, been organized normally without stolen PVC, without burning of PVCs and other things you are loose already so for you trying to complete your second term you will do everything humanly possible to make sure you achieve it 
but God Almighty will never allow you to continue. Reacting to the governor's comment in a statement on Monday evening, Imo PDP spokesperson Collins Opruzo said that Uzo Dangers bad governors have made insecurity worse in the state. The PDP asserted that the excuse given by the governor has betrayed his failure to keep the people of the state safe, adding that Uzo Dinjo can no longer deliver on his campaign promises. The statement read, The People's Democratic Party in Imo State has reviewed the statement made by the governor of, West of the state, Senator Hope Uzo Dinjo, in the aftermath of last night's attack on the INEC office in Owere. According to him, the attack was politically contrived by those who are desperate to win elections by all means. I know it. To say the very last, the very least, this uh, grandest and false excuse has once again betrayed Senator Hope Uso Dinjo, abiding failure to keep Imo states, Imo people safe. This governor can no longer defend his inability to deliver on the primary expectations of political governors, which is the security of lives and property of, uh, in Imo State. By the way, what else defines political desperation better than a man who came forth in an election but unsupported by people's mandate through a judicial haste and now sees himself as the federal lord? From the first week of January this, this year to the second week of December, Senator Hope Uzo Dinjo has continued to tell Imo people that his enemies are behind the carnage and ravages going on in the state. He has failed to name who are the enemies. He has also failed to bring them to book. Instead, he repeats the same thing day after day with the intention of hiding his failures and getting sympathizers. The PDP claimed that Uzo Dinjo's lack of uh, sincerity and genuine commitment to addressing the festering insecurity in the state is highly regrettable. According to the party, the valleys of Osu, the forests of Olo, and the rocky hills of Okigwe have now become safe havens for terrorists, bandits, and kidnappers. It added, Imo regret that in view of Senator Uzo Dinjo's lack of uh, sincerity and genuine commitment to addressing the festering insecurity in the state, the violence of also and the rest of them have become a misery and kidnappers who now make life misery for Imo people. Our party holds that the insecurity in Imo is simply and the squarely a direct consequences of the catastro cat 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 catastrophic failure of governors in the state under the unpopular regime of Senator Hope Uzo Dinjo, according to the speaker. Our party deems it very important to remind Imo people and Nigerians that before this uh, latest attack on INEC office in the state, there had been some other desperate effort by those who came to power through the back door to undermine the capacity of INEC to conduct free and fair and credible elections in the state. First, INEC came uh, under a very brutal legal attack through a secret court action instead in the state by these same uh, uh, use, use pass. They had sought to stop the use of a uh, bimodal voter accreditation system, BIVAS, a technology they feared would frustrate their plot to manipulate the forthcoming elections. Second, the INEC database was attacked and the voter registration was massively compromised, particularly for Omoma World, where tens of thousands of fake aliens and non existing names and photographs were smuggled into the register. That is what Nigerians now refer to as the Omoma magic. It is telling not just that Omoma is the hometown of Senator Hobus Odinjo, but also that the regime in Imo quickly arrested and arbitrarily detained the INEC officials who were accused of bringing to public knowledge the monumental voter registration fraud in Omoma Olu. Our party therefore continues to condemn these legal, cyber, and physical attacks on INEC and our security agencies to probe beneath the surface to establish possible links which the secret court action against INEC and an earlier attack on INEC voter registration might have with the recent attack on INEC office in a way. Those found guilty of one cannot file a disclaimer 
over the others. That is the simple truth. And the hope whose danger is aware of all this, which every Dick and Harry in Imo State knows, he have hands in every attack that is being carried out on INEC facility. Federal government should hold hope whose Odinma responsible for every attack that has been uh, uh, done in every INEC outlet in Imo State. He is aware and he sent those who is doing all this uh, nonsense. Our party enjoins Imo people to turn out in March on Saturday, December 17, to receive our presidential candidate, Al Hajati Kabubaka, who will be in Imo for the flag off of our presidential campaign. So far as God is on the throne, the enemies of the democracy who won the 2020 general elections not to hold in Imo will definitely come to grief, and the wishes of Imo people will prevail. That is what we, 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 we hear and we know about how hope who's a danger have been fostering and, uh, and uh, supporting uh, the attacks on the INEC uh, facilities. Uh, but a uh, no, uh, no share, I know that uh, at the end of the day now, they will channel all this, uh, all this blend to, to what do they call it, to IPO or ESN. They will not call it Bubago where well, they know the truth. Simple truth that the Bubago militia is never for good. Rather, they are the one destroying the lives and property of people in the area. For test of PVCs, INEC responsible for the man manipulations from politicians. On and Libo speaking. Igbo Social Cultural Organization and HND Igbo has said the Independent Natural, National Electoral Commission, INEC, was responsible for the behavior of politicians. Recall that the commission had alleged that some politicians are purchasing PVCs from voters in an attempt to rig the 2023 general elections. In its reaction, on HND blamed INEC for any manipula manipulations they are experiencing from politicians, saying that the electoral agency left openings for such things to occur. Every sector of Nigeria has been corrupted and to, 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 to repair it is very, very hard. And very, very hard. I must be sincere and honest with you people. We could only report that the National Publicity Secretary of the Apex Igbo Social uh, Cultural Body, Alex Obenia, made this known in an interview with the Vanguard. He said, they ought to be the regular, the, re the regulator they are supposed to regulate the electoral process, but the commission that is supposed to regulate the election is now complaining. Then tell me, who are we going to hold responsible? If the INEC and its officials come out openly to complain about the, the, the election violence, buying of uh, PVCs and uh, buying of a uh, voter's card from, from the, 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 the people, then tell me, who are we going to run to? Are we going to run to Boo Boo? Who is now supporting uh, Abadu to, 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 to be his successor coming 2023? I mean, how do we get to this point? Please, if you know the answer, drop it at the comment section. I will reply back to you. There should be a mechanism in place to ensure things work accordingly. We are supposed to complain to them, but now they are the ones complaining to us. If indeed there is an electronic model they are trying to use, of course, these things will not be happening. There's an opening for people to begin manipulating the 2020 general elections. Their body language is indicating that maybe they are going away from what they presented to the public. They have not provided the proper mechanism to avoid all these irregularities. That is exactly what they have been doing. So my good people and the ones who are interested in voting coming 2023, shine your eye. Shine your eye. Repeat again. Shine your eye. This is a time, it's a very delicate time and a very delicate period for everybody, both in Imo State, outside Imo State, in short, in the Eastern region in general, because that is my most, my utmost concern. That is the only place that we can hold, we can call our own. Either they give us Biafra or they give us the presidency. Two things, one must make. That is the thing. So whatever you are doing, if you are selling your vote, just bear it in mind, you are selling the future of your children, your children's children, and your future generation, and they will never forgive you for doing that. If you are a young one, and you are selling your vote, you are selling your future, you are selling your, your education, you are selling everything that's supposed to be meaningful to you, to all these old fools, who have vowed not to retire from government house other than doing things 
not to even complicate the lives of the poor the more. So my great people, the lovers of freedom, the lovers of mankind, all those ones who love what I'm doing or who support what I'm doing or who in one way or the other have been an immense support to this channel, Okute Daily Talk 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, as many as you can see. Please, I want to use the medium to say thank to you all and may the Almighty Tuko Ikabiyama provide your needs according to your wishes or desires of your heart. So we are going to end this broadcast here. In case if you are not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that as soon as possible. If this is your first time of hearing my voice or watching any of my content, please share it. Make it go viral because a lot of people need to hear this message. So you too that hear it, make it to go viral. And make it make sure it gets to every hooks and cranes. Those ones who care to hear my voice on daily basis, this message is for them. So that they will not say nobody speak to them when they needed it most. So have a nice day, my great people. And whatever you are doing, remember that the almighty Tuko Kebiyama is always there to direct our footsteps. I repeat once again, please do not say your PVC. Do not say your vote. You are selling the future of your children and the future of your unborn generation. Do not say I do not want you. A, a one word is enough for the wise. If you have, you know how to pound, pound on the mortar. If you don't know how to pound, then you can pound on your leg. That's all I have to tell my people, my listeners, and those who love what I'm doing. That is the only way I can give to the masses or to the public. So remain blessed until I come your way again. I love you all. Bye for now.